Greetings, fellow seekers of wisdom and truth. We are about to embark on a journey through the labyrinth of human existence, exploring the philosophical depths of Voltaire's Candide. We shall traverse the shadowy corridors of optimism and pessimism, dissect the intricacies of free will versus determinism, and ponder upon the purpose of suffering. The path may be steeped in riddles and paradoxes, but therein lies the beauty of philosophy, the joy of unraveling the enigma of existence. So, dear audience, prepare yourselves for a voyage through the cosmos of thought, guided by the starlight of contemplation and the compass of curiosity. Can we truly be the masters of our destiny in a world that seems to conspire against us? Is unshakable optimism a virtue or a delusion? These are the questions that Voltaire's Candide provokes, nudging us towards a profound introspection of our beliefs and attitudes. Candide's journey in Voltaire's philosophical satire is a whirlwind of calamities and tragedies, punctuated by fleeting moments of joy. His unwavering optimism, instilled by his mentor Pangloss, is persistently tested and challenged by the harsh realities he encounters. Pangloss, a staunch proponent of Leibniz's philosophy, firmly believes that we live in the best of all possible worlds. A theory Candide begins to question as his life descends into chaos. Voltaire, through Candide's trials, critiques the blind optimism that fails to perceive the realities of suffering, injustice, and evil. He explores the concept of free will, suggesting that our choices are often influenced, if not dictated, by circumstances beyond our control. This deterministic view challenges the optimistic belief in human agency, further complicating Candide's worldview. The theme of suffering in Candide is relentless and pervasive. With each calamity, Voltaire forces us to reassess our understanding of the purpose of suffering. Can it be justified as a necessary part of a grander divine plan, or is it an arbitrary and cruel facet of existence? The philosophical musings of Voltaire echo through the ages, resounding in the works of contemporary thinkers. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking, for instance, resonates with Voltaire's deterministic stance. In his book, The Grand Design, Hawking suggests that the universe operates according to laws of nature and therefore, everything in it, including human actions, are determined by these laws. Philosopher Susan Neiman, on the other hand, echoes Voltaire's critique of theodicy the attempt to reconcile God's goodness with the existence of evil and suffering in the world. In her book, Evil in Modern Thought, Neiman argues that the problem of evil is central to philosophy, much like it was to Candide's existential explorations. Candide's philosophical journey has left a significant imprint on popular culture. The novel has been adapted into numerous plays, operas, and films, each reflecting on the pertinence of its themes in different eras. The 1997 film, Life is Beautiful, for instance, mirrors Candide's predicament, a protagonist maintaining his optimism in the face of horrific circumstances. In literature, Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five echoes Candide's experiences. Its protagonist, Billy Pilgrim, like Candide, is tossed around by fate, witnessing and enduring extreme suffering, prompting the reader to question the nature of existence and the meaning of suffering. In the current philosophical discourse, Voltaire's critique of optimism continues to spark contentious debates. Some argue that optimism is a necessary psychological tool for resilience and perseverance, while others warn against its potential to blind us to systemic injustices and personal shortcomings. Similarly, the free will versus determinism debate continues unabated, with neuroscientists, philosophers, and theologians each offering their unique perspectives. The questions Voltaire posed through Candide are as relevant today as they were in the 18th century. In an era of global crises and uncertainties, we grapple with the same existential conundrums. We search for meaning amid suffering, seek agency in a world seemingly governed by deterministic laws, and strive to maintain hope without descending into delusion. Through the prism of Candide's experiences, we glimpse the complexity of the human condition. Voltaire doesn't offer easy answers, but encourages us to question, explore, and critically engage with our beliefs and the world around us. In this philosophical quest, we are reminded 
that the act of questioning is as essential to our existence as the answers we seek. Thank you, dear audience, for joining this philosophical journey. Your intellectual participation is the essence of these explorations, and your time and engagement are deeply appreciated. As we part ways today, let Voltaire's questions linger in your minds. Is unshakable optimism a virtue or a vice? Are we truly the masters of our destinies? And most importantly, can we find meaning amidst suffering? Reflect, ponder, and let these questions guide your thoughts until we meet again for another philosophical odyssey. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember, philosophy is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a way of life. Stay curious, stay reflective, and let the light of wisdom illuminate your path.